Okay, guys, I'm just looking at the clock and I'm conscious of the fact that, yeah, one of the reasons why this is a hard question is because there's so much information in there and yet there's also so little. You're like, I don't have any lengths. How, how on earth am I supposed to work out any of this? We're not used to that very much. It's part of what I think makes this a very clever question. It shows you when you've got power in terms of trigonometry, how much you can do with how little. All you've got is these bearings. You don't know how far apart these guys are, you don't know how tall the tower is, you don't know any of that, and you don't need to. Let me try and illustrate how. So, general problem solving principle, right? <laughs> when you want to get toward something which is uncertain, you start with the things that you know, you start with the things that are certain, and pretty much all we've got at the moment is these angles, these angles of elevation, right? Now importantly, the angles of elevation are not disconnected. They are all looking A, B, and C at the same object, the tower, right? And that's why even though the question didn't ask me to, I've given the tower, um, I've given it a name and I've given it sort of a height here because then I can work with this thing and connect it to all these other objects. I call the bottom of the tower T, so I'm just going to call the top of the tower U. Just alphabetical, okay? I saw a flash of thought there, which is great. So here's what I'm going to start doing, right? I want to connect these angles here and this length along with stuff that's on the ground, right? That's what I'm setting out to do. So I'm going to start with one of the right angle triangles that's in the diagram. And by the way, there are loads, right? Um, you might have noticed, I didn't draw this when you were paying attention, so I should draw it out now. You've got north facing that way in red and east facing this way in green. So if that's north and that's east, they're at right angles, aren't they? It doesn't look like a right angle, but that's because we're in 3D, right? But this ATC is not the only right angled triangle. This flagpole, because nothing else has been told to me otherwise, I assume is vertical, right? So every time it hits the ground, it meets at 90 degrees. It's perpendicular, right? So UTA. 90 degrees. UTB, UTC, all 90 degrees, all right angles, right? So I can say, for instance, in triangle, I mean, let's start from A, I guess. A, B, and C, then we'll do them in order. In the triangle which has A in it, A, T, U, right? I can use the fact that it's right angle to connect this flagpole to something on the ground. I mean, I could work out this hypotenuse, I guess, but the hypotenuse is all just like floating in the air. They're not gonna help me with bearings, right? That's what I'm trying to get to. So instead of saying this AU, this hypotenuse which is floating in the air, what ratio connects my flagpole, my flagpole, to this AT, the distance on the ground? Which ratio? Might it help if I drew triangle ATU separately? I've noticed a few of you do this, but not all that many, right? If you're getting lost in all the triangles, separate them out so you can see them on their own. Here's the flagpole, here's A, the observer. T is the bottom of the tower, use the top. This is the thing I'm after, this is the angle I've got. What's the ratio? Sokatoa, right? Think. This is going to be opposite and this is adjacent. I want tan, right? Do you remember this when we were looking at our own flagpole outside? Did I say flagpole? This is a tower, isn't it? Anyway, right? We use tan because you can connect a vertical to a horizontal distance. So I'm going to say tan of 26 degrees. What's it equal to? H over AT. Thank you very much. Opposite on hypotenuse. The thing I actually want is this distance along the ground. So I'm going to write it like so, remember one over 10, I can just write a shortcut and use cot instead of having fractions flying around. Now, because this is a right angle triangle and I've got the same right angle triangles for B and for C, I'm going to say similarly, I can write expressions for BT, that's from B along the ground to the tower, and CT from C along the ground to the tower. I can write them, they're going to look exactly like this because the triangles are all configured in the same way, they're just slightly different sizes. So BT is going to be H cot, not 26, it's 28, thank you very much. And CT is going to be H cot 30 degrees. Don't forget the degrees because we know different units. Okay, so now I've got these three lengths on the ground. I am going to put these onto here, there we go. So I've got H cot 26 going up this way. I've got H cot 28 
sort of in the middle of the diagonal, going that way. And then lastly, I've got, ugh, gross, H cot 30 degrees, facing this way. Okay, so this is helpful. I don't know how tall this tower is, but I know how long these are in relation to each other. Are you with me so far? Okay. Now what I want to get to from these lengths is I'm trying to get to this angle in here. Do you agree? That angle in there? Now in order to get there, this is a little bit tricky, right? I need to think about this triangle that's on the ground. And this is not helping me see that triangle on the ground. This is helping me see all of the vertical parts of this diagram. But I've kind of dealt with those now, right? I've gone from the tower down to all of these ground measurements. So now I'm going to draw myself a new diagram alongside this one. This is the second one that I mentioned to you before, even though in fact it's the third one. So I'm going to draw this from a bird's eye view. Up north and over to the east, I've got A somewhere over here, C somewhere over here, and then there's their line of sight. Now some of you drew this diagram first, which is fine. I'm going to, I'm absolutely going to use it. The problem is, if you drew this first, you couldn't use your elevations, because this is all from the top, yeah. right? So there's my angle to the tower, all right? So I've got my uh, H cot 30, my H cot 28, and my H cot 26, and then there's a right angle. <coughs> oh, did I swap them around? Oh, sorry. It's the other way around. 30, 26. There we go. And the one in the middle is just the one in the middle. Okay. Now, look with me, right? I'm going to put it in blue because the only thing I've got in blue here, right? What's the angle I'm after? This is the angle here, isn't it? That's the actual bearing. That's where I'm headed, okay? So how can I use this information that's on there right now to maybe start to get towards there? I'm just going to tell you right off the face. There's no direct path to that angle, but what might be around that vicinity that we could work out? Have a think. Hmm. This is tricky, isn't it? Just go back to the top of the diagram, right? Or the top of the working, I should say. We could make all of these statements here. We could make all those statements because these AT, BT, and CT, they all sat in right angle triangles. Remember that? Right? I have another right angle triangle here, a different one. And it has these two lengths in it, right? Could I use those two lengths to work out, say, this angle up here? Could I do it? Yeah. How, how would I do it? Opposite. Opposite and adjacent in this ACT right angle triangle. Now I'm going to ask you this question. Why might I be interested in that orange angle? Why might it be helpful to me? Oh, because you have 90 degrees and you just need to find one more. Ah, be careful, right? So I do have this 90 degrees here, right? But it's in the big triangle. Do you see that? Oh, yeah. If I got this orange angle, and then I could get this angle, I can start to... Did you hear what, did you hear what Ashan just said, right? I'm going I'm to repeat it because it's so important, right? In this triangle here, I've got this length and this length. So I can use the sine rule in this triangle. The sine rule needs two sides, doesn't it? And I've got two sides, right? So let's start to unpack this. Where did the black go? Here we go. 